What are you grateful for? It was a simple question the collegiate asked students and faculty at GRCC. Some wrote their job, others pets, but an overwhelming number of post-it notes said friends, family, and other kinds of relationships. Relationships are sometimes the most important thing during our lifetime. They're your significant other, your children, your God. Sometimes it's a person in passing. It might be a doctor you see only once, but forever changes the course of your life. When it came to asking hospice patients, they listed a lot of the same things. George Sheldon is a 32-year-old father of three, and he's currently in hospice. He was given four years to live, seven years ago, so every day of life is a gift, and it was pretty clear during the interviews that he believed that. Despite having been confined to his bed for the past 18 months, he has remained a huge part of his children's lives. That's the first thing I do is I get up in the morning with them and enjoy the little bit of time I can and wait for them to go. I got friends, but friends come and go. Families forever, so I spend most of my time with my kids. The next patient we interviewed was in a completely different stage of life. His name was Robert Booth, a father of seven grown children. Upon entering his room, Robert and Bernadette his wife of 62 years, were holding rosary beads and praying. The two of them cradled their rosary beads while telling us about Robert's breathing condition and lung cancer, but by the time they had finished telling us about his medical condition, he was completely winded and ready to end the interview. But we couldn't help but ask how they were able to keep their love for each other going so strong for so many years. Love each other, be no. truthful to each other. Yeah, and don't think and honest about, to each other. Well, I don't like him anymore, and I want to get rid of him, get another one. You don't do that. <laughs> you got your Real children. love is giving yourself to each other. Yes. And we love each other very yes. much. We tell each other. We love each other more now than yeah. we ever did. Uh-huh. Ever, yeah. ever. We tell each other when we're in here, we don't we always. What, honey? We always say, you know, yeah. I love you. Uh -huh. you know? Every day? Yeah. Every day yeah. we say, sweetheart, I love you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After going for about 15 minutes further than he thought he could, he had just a few more words to share about love. Well, the thing you want to remember is, if you get married, make sure it's because you love each other. Yeah. And, and ask Jesus to love you. He, you don't have to ask him. He loves you every day. On the same board that we asked people to post what they were grateful for, we reflected about the project in our own experiences. And while we didn't bring the chalkboard to George's house, we asked him the same question, what are you grateful for? I would have to say, getting up, like I said, getting up with my kids, and my wife, enjoying the day that I woke. I got to wake up another day, and I, I take, I don't take life for granted. I enjoy every minute of my life I can. Mm -hmm.